Hey ho, all you peeps and followers, it is I, Leo Hightower, welcome back to Let's Play Kirby 64, The Crystal Shards. In the last episode, we uh, finished Rockstar, and we collected the last few Crystal Shards, and we took on the boss of Rockstar. After a little uh, snack by Adeline, we are now moving on to our third location, Rockstar, I mean, uh, Aquastar via a water planet and this planet is one of my personal favorites next to uh n the fourth planet but anyway let's get started with this aquastar is quite a uh, adventurous planet full of sunny shores and a water segment where we swim if you guys like this video then please leave a like leave a comment and click on the subscribe button for more but for now we're gonna get started with the uh Aquastar. I keep I keep saying uh Rockstar. I'm we're done with Rockstar. I'm trying to say Aquastar. But anyway, let's get started, shall we? Hi. And it's been a while since I last uh touched upon this game. I hope everybody, including the LP audience, is doing okay. And that you are enjoying this LP. Like I was saying, if you want to see more, then click on the subscribe button and tickle the bell button so that way, when I do upload new videos, you will be notified, okay? I appreciate it. Anyway, rock combined with fire gives us a little volcano. Very nice. But yeah, uh, speaking of Aquastar, some of the Crystal Shard, I mean, some of the Crystal Shards are gonna require us to, huh, 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 excuse me, uh, require us to get creative with some of the abilities and everything. But yeah, some of the Crystal Shards are gonna require us to get creative with, uh, the abilities that we use, and are gonna require us, um, to be creative. Anyway, this right here is a little green blob that we need to jump into, who's gonna ricochet us into the, uh, air. Ow. Up, oh, right there. There is the crystal shard. There we go. There's our first crystal shard for this area. Okay. There's a new enemy, a little penguin. But even though he tries to get away, no. He is the Ice Ability, which is very cool. And there are frogs inside the little holes up there. If we... If we get caught by the frogs, we'll be ingested by them. And there's the Poppy Brothers. I want to throw the Ice Ability at him. And Ice and Bomb create a snowman with a bomb on its forehead. It's not too bad, the ability, but... I, we're going to need it later on. Anything that gets caught underneath the blast gets turned into an icicle. But yeah. This ability is pretty useful, but, uh, yeah, but basically once you use the bomb ability, you basically have to, uh, turn back into the snowman again. There's nothing wrong with it, but I don't use it that often. Also, I just love, uh, Rockstar's, uh, uh, look, basically, as you progress throughout, uh, the various, um, 
areas. Anyway, we got a, a mini boss right here. Okay. They appear cute on the uh, outside, but when you go up, the, they become little bastards. Anyway, we defeated that boss, and we dropped down to get the next crystal shard. I hate those little spiky enemies, seriously. Oh, Adeline! Thank you for the maximum tomato, Adeline! And yeah, there are enemies all in the pot pit holes and everything, but we're just gonna ignore them. Because if I'm right, there is another crystal shard coming up in this area. Yeah, right here. See this block right here? You need bomb and you need the ice ability to break through it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn into the icy snowman again. Break through, get ricocheted up, and there's the crystal shard! We don't need this ability anymore. I will suck up that enemy who gives us electricity. And I think that's gonna do it for this area of uh, Rockstar. Ah, shoot. Ah, shoot! I will, I will take that cutter ability since you were so kind enough to give it to me. Ah, shoot! Am I gonna die? Am I gonna die on the first level here? Ah, shoot. Oh, never mind! Lightning and Cutter gives us a very cool lightsaber, which is very nice. This ability will be useful later on in a later stage, but, uh, this is one of my favorite abilities to use, basically. But anyway, we reached the end goal area, and... Oh, we didn't get anything again. I'm sorry, Kirby. But anyway, we'll move on to the next level on this, uh, uh next level of Aquastar. I'm sorry, you guys. I know my commentary probably isn't the best, especially in regards to Let's Play and everything. I do my best, but I'm just a casual guy who goes with the flow and everything. I guess I should do like, uh, the Let's Players are doing on, uh, Twitter or X. I'm a Let's Player. I'm just a casual guy who plays through his LPs. I might stutter and I make make mistakes, but I play a video game all the way to the very end. Unless, of course, I have problems with my software. But anyway, let's get moving to the second stage of uh, Aquastar. And we are in a ravine area of all things. And this stage isn't so bad. They're sure giving us a lot of bomb abilities. And they're also trying to give us some rock abilities. But we don't need rock or bomb right now. Ow, shoot! Anyway, moving on. Ugh. Now we're inside of the ravine cave. Okay, that enemy was, uh, uh, ice. Okay. Now, we need to run, 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 run across. Otherwise, we'll fall to our doom. Because the pathway is falling apart. And if I'm right... Yeah! I think for this area, we needed the Volcano ability. 
Yeah, we need bomb, I mean, we need boulder and we need fire to get the crystal shard right there, see? I will come back through this area later on just to get the crystal shard. But for now, we're gonna move on ahead. We exit at the cave. Oh, Waddle D. You're in a you're in a carper you're in a carper box. And now we're gonna go down the river. Okay. And we gotta one up for our troubles. Jump over the obstacles that appear in the pathway. Don't fall into them. Ah, or you'll take damage. And there's the second crystal shard. Very nice. We missed a whole bunch of star bits right there, but that's okay. We already got a one-up earlier. Okay. Up! And we reached the end of the, uh, area! See ya, Waddle Dee! Hope you'll be okay, buddy. Up! We got the Super Lollipop! So now we're invincible for a little bit. And I love the Super Mute, uh, Super, uh, Invincibility themes, uh, Super, uh, Lollipop's Invincible theme. Up oh, there's the third Crystal Shard. Anyway, we come into the next area. Now, uh, instead of moving down, I think we need to move up. And we need to watch out for the logs that are in the area. The logs will do considerable amount of damage to us. But I think like any regular enemy, they'll just take off one. But you don't want to get flattened by these things, trust me. But yeah. Anyway, Aquastar just has such an ambient and presence to it. I just love its design for the stages, and I love, love its music. It's such a tranquil area. Three logs. Anyway. Okay. Up, oh, we get a star. And we ended up getting a one-up for our troubles. But anyway, what I want to do is I want to go back to, uh, uh want to go back to the second stage to get that crystal shard we missed out on. So, give me a minute, uh, peeps. Okay, now that we're back to this area, we can get the crystal shard that I missed out on. And we just shoot the little volcano up. And we acquire the crystal shard. Easy, squeezy, lemon breezy. And there we go. And if I'm right, all we have to do is just say try again. And we have the crystal shard right there, so there. But anyway, I think I've done enough for this episode right here, so we're gonna continue on with the rest of, uh, Aquastar in the next episode. This is Leo Hightower, thank you guys very much for watching, and I hope to see all you beautiful sons of guns again next time. Next episode, we take on Area 3 of Aquastar. Until then, peace out, peeps. Later.